Hello, in the next few minutes, I'll show you how to build MCP servers and how to use the, that MCP server with Strands Agents and Amazon Bedrock in AWS. I'm Chandra Reddy, I'm a Senior Manager for Gen AI Specialist Solution Architects at AWS. In part one of this series, we showed you how to use MCP servers that already exist out there. In this video, we are gonna show you how to build an MCP server and the use case that we considered was building an MCP server that queries Bedrock knowledge base so that you don't have to understand the Boto3 APIs to query Bedrock knowledge base. All of that is masked away behind this MCP server. That's the idea. So for, let's quickly understand, for those of you who don't know what Bedrock knowledge base is, it helps you uh, read the documents, chunk the documents, completely automated, and generates vector embeddings and stores those embeddings in a Bedrock knowledge base. That's the first part. And the second part is when the user asks a question, it takes the user query, generates an embedding, and queries the bedrock knowledge base. And then you can retrieve, let's say, n number of chunks, in this case, 40 chunks from the bedrock knowledge base. And then, you optionally, you could also re-rank those chunks and pick the top chunks, and then send those re-ranked chunks and the user query to the large language model to improve the accuracy. And then finally, the large language model will generate the response. So that's how the bedrock knowledge base is typically used. In our case, this is how the AI agent will use the MCP server that we are going to build. When a user asks a question, the AI agent is gonna get an MCP client for the MCP server that we are going to build. And then the agent is gonna get the two tools that this MCP server is going to expose, retrieve from KB, which is knowledge base, and re-rank the results. And then it's gonna use with another built-in strands tool called file underscore read to accomplish the task. So with that said, let's head over to the notebook and build an MCP server and also use it with an AI agent. But before we build an MCP server that can retrieve chunks from a bedrock knowledge base, let's first build a very basic MCP server. So this is an instruction that uh, essentially saves this code as a Py file, uh, Python file. We import the necessary modules and we are here we are creating an MCP server. And, that, uh, and then we are defining the tools for that MCP by using the decorator at mcp.tool. And pretty simple basic tools, add to uh, subtract, multiply and divide. And then mcp.run is what instantiates. So now that the pi file is saved, the next thing that we do is, uh, in the previous video you might have seen, we created a simple function, wrapper function called create MCP client, where you pass the package, which is Python 3, and you pass the uh, MCP, uh, the pi file here, in the, uh, which is essentially an MCP server. So when you invoke this create MCP client, it creates the MCP server and gives you a handle. And then we are creating the bedrock model by passing in the Claude Sonnet 4 model here. And then using that MCP client handle, we are getting the two, the four tools, list tools sync will uh, return the four tools that we saw previously, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And we are passing the list of tools to the agent. And then we are asking a question to the agent. So that's how you are building a strands agent that uses the MCP client to use the MCP server that you just built above. And this is the outcome here, multiply, it's go step by step, uh, um, multiply, subtract, add and divide. So now let's get to the meaningful MCP server that we wanted to build, right? So we already went through this on how Bedrock Knowledge Bases ingest the documents. The assumption is that this is already done and you have stored the knowledge base ID in the region in kb.txt file. This is needed because as you will see, the agent is actually gonna extract the knowledge base ID and region automatically from this TXT file and use it. And we already went through this process of how this works so that you have the context. So there are two tools that we are gonna build in this MCP server. The first tool is retrieve from knowledge base. As you can see here, it creates a bedrock agent runtime client handle, and then it invokes the retrieve API and it passes the knowledge base ID and the query and gets the documents. And from those documents, it extracts the list of documents and returns. Okay, so that's the first tool. The name of the tool was retrieve from KB. The second tool is re-ranking the results. So the input to this is the query and the list of documents that you extracted from the previously, and then you're passing the model ARN for re-ranking and how many re-ranked results to extract in the AWS region. And essentially, the implementation is pretty straightforward. Uh, you're getting a handle to the bedrock agent runtime and then in, you're invoking the re-rank API and you're getting the re-ranked results and then you're returning them. The original documents, list of documents and the re-ranked documents. Okay, so we created our MCP server with the name of kb underscore mcp underscore server. All we have done so far is written the code. 
right? So now we need to instantiate this MCP server. So let's get there. First, we are going to write a system prompt. Now we are going to use that MCP server with a strands agent. So we are essentially creating a system prompt here, which is saying that extract the bedrock knowledge base ID and AWS region from the kb.txt file. The assumption here is that you will store this in your kb.txt file if you plan to use this notebook. And then here is the question that we're asking, what's bedrock agent core memory runtime and gateway? How are they relevant to a healthcare customer? And explain it to me as if I'm a 15 year old, okay? First things first, we're gonna create an MCP client. We're passing Python 3 as a package and the pi file that we created. So this will create an MCP server and give you a handle. We use that handle and get the list of tools. Obviously you saw we created two tools, so it should return those two tools here. And we are adding a third local tool called file read so that we can read the knowledge base ID that is stored in the kb.txt file. The agent will read it. And then you're passing all the tools, the system prompt and the model. And then you're passing the task to the agent. So this is how the agent is invoking. It's uh, actually invoking retrieve, retrieve, re-rank, and then it's uh, passing all that context to the LLM along with the query, and you see the nice response here. Memory, runtime, gateway, how is it relevant to the healthcare customer? And then it's also explaining to us as if we are a 15 year old. So it's really, really simplifying that entire explanation for us. So this is how you use uh, create MCP servers and uh, you use those MCP servers um, in, with your strands agents. So essentially we built our own MCP server very quickly and then uh, we were able to leverage that uh, while building our AI agents rapidly. The idea here is that you can mask away all the complexity of whatever you're trying to accomplish with these MCP servers so that the rest of your organization can benefit by just discovering the tools from that MCP server and integrating those tools into the AI agent. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching it.